Only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. All right, people, what up, what up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have tuned into the Bad Boy Show with Mr. Locario yeah. and Miles Cunningham. What's popping, Miles? What's going on? What's going on, my ninja? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Wait, is, is this the first? The first episode for the new year? Nah, this is the second one. We did we I think second the one? I think the last one we did was for New Year's. Wasn't it? I, what, I, what? I, I can't man. even remember. I can't even remember. It's, <laughs> well, it's still it's, you know, happy new year, niggas. It's all good. Exactly. Yeah. It's still it's still new. The the year is still new. Right. You feel me? Still. It's still fucking new. But anyway, today we're gonna be talking about how to make sure you don't waste time with women, okay? Because that's a very important to, to understand when you're what in you the game. What you know about time, son? What you know about time? Son? Exactly. <laughs> Cuz you know your time is 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 super important, man. You feel me? So you got to make sure you don't do that. But listen, we're going to we're going to take a quick break when we come back we're going to get into some news. You guys are listening to The Bad Boy Show. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Yeah, we are back. We are uh-huh. back on the Bad Boy Show. So we got we got some news popping in the news. <laughs> no, I no. It, it, is it is it me or is it like I don't is it is it because Donald Trump is about to be president? Niggas is wild with them? I don't know. I think so. I think so. Hey. I think that's you know people don't know what to do with themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Like. They don't. They don't. They don't know what to. They don't know what's going on. They just. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll see. It's going to be a very interesting uh, turn of events. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it today. I was like, yo, like it's it's 2017. Like, like shouldn't shouldn't it be more futuristic than this? I thought like you know, it really, really should. You know what it I'm really saying? Should. It really should. Because <laughs> I'm like, because I'm like, yo, isn't you, you remember that movie Back to the Future? The, right. the nigga went to the future and he went to 2015 nigga and right. and, and it was flying cars and hoverboard skateboards hoverboard and shit, and shit. Hell yeah. you know so it's, it, it's sort of we kind of have sort of futuristic shit but it's not like it don't have that look i was expecting you feel what i'm saying so well i, I mean on the real on the really 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 real mm-hmm. the reason why we're not there yet is because <clears throat> it's because these are Oil companies is too they're, they're too rich to let it go. Right, right. I, like, and that's that's like the real technical truth. Like mm. these guys. Like, let me tell you something. The CEO of Exxon. Right. Makes, I think he makes like fifteen thousand dollars a minute. Wow. You gotta. I mean, think about that shit. Fifteen. Like, would you want to stop doing business making fifteen thousand dollars a minute? That's crazy. Or, or I think, <laughs> If it's not a minute, it's like an hour. But it's it's not it's not like weekly. Like these niggas is making thousands of dollars as like like by the by the time I finish this sentence, them niggas done made another like ten ten G's. Like it's crazy. <laughs> because everybody because you gotta like look look how long it's taking for them to fucking actually cross over to electric cars. Right. And I mean, they got they got like like if you really think about it. If you can make a fucking drone, right? Mm-hmm. How hard would it be for you to make a, a vehicle that can be that can be drone like just the you know the fans the fans that that levitate the drone? Like you can make a vehicle that do that shit. It's not that hard, but right? If they do that, then that's less gas. That's mm-hmm. just gonna be if we're using all this electrical solar powered shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. And those those dudes is making too much money to really let all of the industries 
industries cross over. So, you know, it's, there's a lot of things holding us back right now. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's like, wow, man. The world is a is a very interesting place, you know? It's just... You just wonder about these things. It's, it's yo, crazy. Yo, let me tell you something real quick. Like, you remember that episode of um of uh, of of Boondock where mm. where Riley started selling candy? Right, right. And and fucking um, Huey told him that bad shit is gonna go down if you try to if you try to like fuck with a, a like a million dollar industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the nigga, the nigga came in the hotel room with the guns and all that shit. That like, shit is real. Like, that shit is, yo, don't get it twisted. Like, that shit is really, really real. Like, if you fuck with a nigga's money, mm-hmm. your guns come out. Son. Right, your exactly. Really exactly. Out. Like, it's not a fucking game. Like, if you want to really take, start, like, like, uh, like, you know that dude, um, um, Elon Musk, who made the electric car, the Tesla? Right. Son, don't think that nigga hasn't received death threats already. Like, mm-hmm. don't get it twisted, son. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why you think uh, uh, Dr. Sebi ain't here? You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Dr. Sebi's dead, son. Like, mm-hmm. so the guns come out. Like, the pharmaceutical company can't stand niggas like Dr. Sebi. Right, right. Like, see, we we, we we bearing off the news, but real quick. I was at an herbal store the other day, like a health food store. Mm-hmm. And I started, I asked the lady in the, in the health store, I said, are you familiar with Dr. Sebi? And she was like, no, who's that? Right. And I was like, Dr. Sebi, you don't know Dr. Sebi? You're a health food store owner and you don't know a Dr. Sebi? She was like, no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> and we kept, we kept talking and talking. Right. And then so 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 after I said a couple of things that let her know that I wasn't... That, okay, so we kept talking. And then she was like, listen, I know who Dr. Sebi is. But I needed to speak with you for a little while to make sure that you weren't an agent. Why? Wow. She said that shit? That she said that shit. Wow. Like, in wow. The past, in the past decade, there are 12, 12 different, like, herbal doctors that own, you know, like, compounds and villages like Dr. Sebi has mm. that have been murdered in the last decade. Mm. 12, different, 12 different, like, um, herbal communities, like, you know, where they bring sick people to, like, to, to make them eat herbal foods and alkaline foods and all that right. kind of shit. She said 12 different of those communities have been either, like, burnt down or the headmasters have been killed. So she was like, and she's connected to a lot of those people. So she said she had to speak with me for a little while longer to make sure I wasn't one of those people. Son. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> so it's twisted. Like, pharmaceutical companies, the, the oil companies, yo, if you fuck with their money or some really real shit, mm. the gun come out. That's crazy. That's crazy. How you, think, how you think Prince is dead, Michael Jackson is dead, mm-hmm. and they fucking abducted uh, Kanye West last, last month. Right. It ain't no game. Right, right. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's like, it's like, man, it's like when you, when you fuck with, with, with you know, the, the, the structure of how they want to put shit in place, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? That shit's crazy. Yep, yep. That shit's crazy, man. I'm like, ah, oh. so you gotta, you gotta be very uh, aware of this shit, because people, you know, people don't know. That's why, that's why a lot of times shit don't really change. You feel what I'm saying? Is because it's like when you got people that's trying to change shit or make shit different or make shit better, or whatever. It's like motherfuckers is like, nope, hell no. You know what I'm saying? We making too much money off of the the fucking uh, bullshit. Martin Luther King, mm-hmm. Martin Luther King, my nigga. Like before he got shot. He was he was he was making um he was about to make an alliance with Malcolm X, homie. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. To look at fucking somebody like uh John F. Kennedy. John mm-hmm. F. Kennedy got his head blown off and they still haven't actually figured out the real truth behind that shit. Are right. You crazy? Right. Like, think about that shit. A president got shot in broad daylight. The mm-hmm. president then mm-hmm. it's got crazy. Shot in broad daylight. And niggas is still asking questions. Right. That's crazy. I mean, niggas still haven't figured out who shot Biggie and Tupac. But my nigga, a U.S. president mm-hmm. got his head literally blown off in broad daylight in front of everybody. And mm-hmm. niggas is still kind of unsure how it happened. Right, what? right. Get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. Here. That's crazy. Fuck with their money and the guns come out. It's mm-hmm. a rest, yo. And you got to understand, these big corporations, 
making thousands of dollars per minute and per hour. They are they own the government. Mm-hmm. So that's why the guns can come out and nothing will happen and nothing will change. Right. You know what I'm right. It's crazy, you know what I'm man. It's crazy. See, you you telling too much truth, man. So you know, if you guys if you guys uh uh you know don't hear from us in a while, you know what happened. Okay, I'm just <laughs> just letting you know. So you know you won't be uh <laughs> you won't be confused. Okay, because uh it's terrible out here. It's 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 wow. It's crazy. But anyway, so 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 in 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 the news, it's crazy shit going on, man. Because uh so there's this story. Um, that came out the other day. I'm on, I'm on CNN.com right now, and and it was uh, a Fort Lauderdale, um, you know, airport was under attack yep. by by a gunman, and so they was basically saying this this guy, his name is Esteban Santiago, and they mm-hmm. said he went to to baggage baggage claim and he picked up his his uh his luggage and he was like um you know. It was like there was uh, no other bags. It was there's like there was no bags there, and he just had some guns or whatever. So they said that allegedly he took a nine millimeter handgun out out of his case and right. fired at the travelers on Friday afternoon, and he killed five people at the Fort Lauderdale right. airport. And, and a, dozen, a dozen got shot, and five of them died. Right, you know what I'm saying? And and it's it's crazy because they're saying that you know the, they sent the airport and terminal into chaos. And people was running for cover, and um, you know, they said almost forty others, uh, you know, they got like wounded through the evacuation of the, you know, the place or whatever like that. And so, right. you know, it's it's crazy, man. And it's like, um, they said that the dude's like twenty six years old, um, and they said he's a suspect in in five other deaths at the the airport, all this other craziness. So, you know, I don't, who knows why, uh, you know, motherfuckers is doing what they doing. You understand? And, right. and, and the, the, this is the crazy, the crazy thing is, um, they have a picture of the suspect and he looks like, he looks like, you know, one of them Arab dudes, you feel what I'm saying? And so, I, I mean, you know, I'm always skeptical when, when, when they be like, oh, we, this is the suspect, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. Maybe it could be, maybe it's not who, who the fuck knows, but I, I'm always, I'm, I'm one of those motherfuckers that's just always questioning shit like yo did you see did you see that video of those those i guess those kids in chicago that was torturing that that white boy or something like that did you see that shit you didn't see that shit miles and i I didn't see the video but i heard the story yeah so i saw the video and is these 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 i think this this these Three black kids, like, they look like they young, maybe like 19 or some shit. And they had some dude tied up and duct taped. And his mouth was duct taped. And they was, like, cutting his hair off with a knife or some shit like that. And it just seemed weird. I was like, I was like, what is this about? Like, how the fuck did they actually find this kid? Then how did they, was able, how were they able to tie him up and then get him back to their place to do all that shit? It just seems, it just right. seems weird. It just seems, it don't seem real. You know what I'm saying? And then right. this this shit is going viral. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, what would this? They call me racist, but that don't sound like black people shit. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like I'm... black people, like black people would just beat his ass in the street, right? Leave him there, like, right? I don't, I don't really know about the abduction and the tying up, right? And all that other shit. That sound like some other shit. And I'm like, yo, and I'm like, where did they find this white boy? Just in the middle of Chicago, chilling, uh, walking down the street, and and they just like, come here, I'm gonna tie your ass up and bring you in the house and start fucking with you for no reason, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like it just it just seems weird. So it's certain things when I see in the media, I just I, I gotta I gotta you know look at it with the side eye a little bit. I need right. I need I need more information. You feel what I'm saying? I just got a question that shit. <laughs> right. I'm just like that shit just sounds weird. I'm just like. Cause, cause then somebody was telling me that, uh, the, the white dude was supposedly one of the guy's friends and then, but I'm like, if that's their friend, why would they do that to their friend? And then they're saying right. that the white dude was sort of, um, like he, he had mental issues. So he was like autistic or something like that. Or, and I'm just like, okay, well then like, I'm like, how do we know? Like, we don't like, where did you get this information? I'm just like, cause he was just tied up in the shit, not saying nothing. So how the fuck, you know, he was autistic and all, like, how do we know? You really, it's just all this shit they throwing out there. I'm like. That shit is mad crazy. I'm just like, and, and then the thing is, you know how 
I feel like there's a lot of shit online that people do specifically just to try to go viral or try to like get attention. You feel what I'm saying? So right. that's why I'm like, I don't know if all that shit is just orchestrated just to just to get views and just for people to, you know, talk about it and do all the other shit. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying I could I could be wrong. Who knows? But it just it just seems weird. That's all I'm saying. This shit just seems fucking weird. You know, what I mean? and then 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 the, I think the kids was talking about fuck Trump or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? So like, so like. I'm like, what? I, I don't get that shit. That shit is weird to like, me. Like, like young kids, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know if young kids give a fuck about politics that much. Exa- that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and, then, and then on top of that, like, like, do they even really know who Trump is? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, come on, sir. <laughs> right, I'm like, what, some 18, 19-year-old is kidnapping some white dude who, quote-unquote, was probably, they like, oh, he's a Trump supporter, so fuck Trump, so this is what we're going to do? Like, they really, come on, niggas, niggas is too busy in the house listening to fucking Lil Yachty and Lil Uzi Vert, okay? Like, stop with the bullshit. Like, come on, son, like, these niggas. I'm like, these niggas, I don't know, man. That shit is, is, is weird. Shit is weird. But anyway, so in other news, um... Freaking uh, Soldier Boy and Chris Brown is supposed to be fighting and shit. Uh, and hey, honestly, not for nothing, <laughs> not for nothing. Boxing, boxing is uh is uh is getting boring, right? Honestly. And and guess who's promoting the fight though? Isn't it? Isn't it Floyd? Yep. Floyd Mayweather, man. He's the he's getting it. In. The money team, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I mean, cause, no, I mean if you think about it, like. Whether or not it's, it's a good fight or whatever, I believe there's a, there's a lot of people. I mean, because if you look at we're in this, you know, reality TV generation, and mm-hmm. it's like a lot of people I think would be willing to pay decent money to see two celebrities box. Like, right, right. Because I want to see it. I want. I would ask. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. Like I, I, I'd fuck with the fuckery. Like it's fuckery, but it's like shit. I want to see that shit. Especially, you know it's it's, especially, it's because it's Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. So it's just like you know, these two guys are just fucking ridiculous. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's just like that shit is because all the shit Soldier Boy been popping for the past few months. You feel what right. I'm saying? And then it's like everybody know you know Chris Brown is just you know on some other shit. So it's just like that shit will be interesting. You know what I mean? And it's like, and I think I think it's a smart business move because you know. The, the amount of fans that Chris Brown and Soldier Boy got. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's going to be a lot of motherfuckers I, tuning in. You know, the amount of money, like, like if all three of them is like really, really smart, the amount of money that all three of them, I, I'm, when I say all three of them, I'm talking about Soldier Boy, Chris Brown, and, and, and Floyd Mayweather. Right. If all of them are really like, you know, going hard on the business end. Mm-hmm. They could really get a whole lot of great sponsorship deals so I mean, with that many people tuning in, you know how much money it will cost just to put, like, if, if, Chris, if Chris Brown decided to wear boxing gloves that had the Google logo on the fucking front of the glove? I know, right? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Like, what? You know, it's that's crazy. That's so much bread. That's so much bread. And... And the thing is, like, let's say they do, they actually do the fight, and if it goes through, because people are saying, "Oh, you know, it's not gonna happen," blah blah blah. But right. if it does, and it gets so, it gets you know so much ratings, they could fucking like have a rematch. You feel what I'm saying? And then niggas are That's, still tuning. <laughs> no, because I heard, I heard a rumor that Fifty Cent is a um, no, not Fifty Cent, but some dude like some celebrity rapper that's like a big You talking about yeah that's um that's Riff Raff. Riff Raff wants to, ah, yeah, Riff Raff, right, right. He wants to fight him for two million. Right. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying though, like honestly, it could be a really good like because I right, remember how many how much how many how much ratings that celebrity de- remember MTV had celebrity death match? Right, right. With the with the, with the uh stop action um the clay lady. joints, right, yeah. That shit was entertaining as fuck. Like, exactly. If that team, if, if, if you could Mix that with the reality show you mm-hmm. know, paradigm, you know right? What I'm right, and and do and do like a like every week, you know, film them training, like mm-hmm. like look at dancing with the stars. They filmed them practicing the dance moves, right, like, right, dances. Like it could be a really big thing. Honestly speaking, like think about if if, if some of these celebrities really took it seriously. Because, hi, right, for example, for example, just for example, you got. You, you, you look at the behind-the-scenes footage of, like, the movie The Matrix, right? Right. Like, 
Right. You see Lawrence Fishburne, Keanu Reeves, and um, the guy who played Agent Smith. I forgot his name. Right. But you see all three of them, like, really seriously training for the fight scenes, my nigga. Like, right, exactly. So imagine if, like, you know, Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather promoted the whole shit, got some real trainers to sit with Chris Brown for a good six months, you know, switch up his diet, go in the gym, really get some shit popping. And, like, so it's Chris Brown versus, you know, um, um, the give soldier. me another dance to flex the ass nigga. Um, Trey Song. Oh, Trey Song. <laughs> right, right. And or whoever, like, whoever. But the fact, of, the fact of the matter is they can really turn it into a whole nother thing. And it could be, it could be profitable for a lot of people. Right. And honestly, America loves to see black, loves to see niggas fight anyway. So, <laughs> why, you know what I'm saying? Like, why not? Right. <laughs> now nah, that shit would be crazy, man. But I, I want to see, I want to see Fifty Cent and, and Riff Raff do that shit too. That should be crazy. You mean? Yo, imagine, imagine all of the niggas that Fifty had beef with coming at Fifty on some fight shit. Bro, yo, Ja Rule versus Fifty Cent. That shit would be tight. Bro. Exactly. Who would, who would fuck with that? Meek Mill versus Drake. Who would want? Exactly. Exactly. Who would want to see that shit for real? For real. Look how many. Look how many Americans tuned in when when Drake did back to back. Yo, fucking white Americans didn't even know who the fuck Meek Mill was until that shit. Right. So imagine some niggas really went out on some pay per view, super boxing hot shit on Showtime or HBO. Right. So that shit would be crazy, son. I would invest in that shit myself. Right. 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 Shit. That should be crazy. <laughs> Man, that's that's it's, it's crazy when you think about it. Like the amount of money they can make off of that shit, because they they just they could just transition. You know, the it's like cross promotion between genres of entertainment. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like you know all the people that have the 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 fucking fan base of you know the the music and the entertainment, and you just putting that to the boxing. Like, oh my god, that should be crazy. That shit would be crazy. I'm like man, you can you can even have it with with the chicks doing it. You can have Nicki Minaj versus Lil Kim or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, the only thing with that is if like Lil Kim would get her nose knocked off because the plastic can't hold up to the strike. Right. Like, right. Like, 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 because they gotta perform, they gotta jump around the stage and do this mm-hmm. and do that. Yo, imagine if niggas like really took it seriously for like six months training to, to learn how to box. Right. That should be, uh, that should be crazy. That should would be hot, man. I'm like, man, that should be good. I'm 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 hoping this Soldier Boy and Chris Brown shit happen though. Like I really hope that shit go down. That shit gonna be crazy. That shit gonna be crazy. I'm like, man. You know what I wanna see, you know what I wanna see? I wanna see Mr. Lucario versus Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'll be hilarious. Oh my god. That shit would be too funny. <laughs> oh, no, better yet, better yet. Tariq Nasheed versus Tommy Sotomayor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that almost happened though. You know, that almost yeah, happened. Exactly, so exactly. You know what I'm saying? That should be crazy. Exactly. That shit would be crazy, man. I'm telling you, man, like for for the right amount of money, you know, people would get that shit popping, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yo, I I don't even care. I I take the fall. I'll be like, listen, how much how much you gonna pay me to to drop to lose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on, bro. Like, oh my goodness, that yeah, shit would be crazy. But anyway, so so in in other news, uh, Nicki Minaj dumps Meek Mill. Okay, so oh so you know. It, it happened, it, and, and it was. <laughs> See, it would have been dope if Meek Mill dumped her. You feel what I'm saying? Like that would have been some some other shit. But you know, you know that was never gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying? But it, it's crazy. But like, I I don't even know. Like, I didn't even know what the reason was. Like, they, you know, like, does anybody know why? Like, what the fuck happened? Like, nah. what's going on? It'll, in... It'll... Cause I was listening to um, I was listening to the Breakfast Club, and they don't even know. They didn't. They didn't explain anything either. Right. You know 
That's but, crazy. Um, Charlamagne was saying it's crazy how when you listen to the lyrics the back to back, mm. it's, um, you know the part in the song where he was talking about, you know, don't don't get mad when she when she tell you that y'all better as friends, right? Like, <laughs> like, yo, it's, yo, yo, Drake, <laughs> yo, Drake is a prophet. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, he he knew that shit wasn't gonna last. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, that's that. See, the thing is, I think Drake Drake already understands Nicki Minaj on a personal level. You feel what I'm saying? Bye, bye. So he he knew he knew what was up. You feel me? He knew what like Drake just wanted a turn to smash. That's all Drake wanted, really. You feel? Yep. <laughs> so so that's what it was. So he looking at this nigga like, come on, son, this is this shit gonna be a rap in a minute. So just you know. Just, just make it happen for right now, because and there was some story that was out saying that Meek Mill allegedly said that he had got Nicki Minaj pregnant or something. So I don't know what the fuck happened with that. But I'm just uh, like these niggas is wild. You feel what I'm saying? So he, so if that was true, he was trying to, he was trying to trap her ass. He was like, look, you ain't going nowhere. Like he's trying to get that shit uh going on. I'm like, god damn. But you know, I, yo, I think that um. I think that Nicki Minaj need to get with Young M.A. That's what I think. <laughs> like, Hell yeah. That should be crazy. Oh, man. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. That would be the crazy move right there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That shit would be too funny. Oh, my goodness. And then it's funny. If that actually happened, everybody be be giving Meek Mill L also for that. They'd be like... <laughs> oh, my God. They'd be like, yo, your girl... Left you for a chick. It's a rap, nigga. <laughs> it's like, what you been doing, bro? <laughs> oh, man, that's I mean, crazy. Shit, not for nothing, Young M.A. spit harder than me right now. So, I mean... It's, it's true. It's true. Crazy. It's true. It's crazy. But anyway, so in, in, in other news, uh, there's a story of a man who, who was spraying women with his semen. And he, he at Walmart, he filled the semen with in, in these syringes. And he... Okay. He walked behind, uh, you know, he walked behind these chicks and he would spray the semen on their back and, uh, and then, you know, um, and then bounce, you feel me? So I think he got arrested or some shit like that. But the video I was watching when he was talking about it, they actually had a whole bunch of other stories just like this of dudes doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like there was some other guy in China who his, his girl broke up with him. So then he got mad and he was just walking around throwing semen on chicks and then they had some other story of this doctor who his his patient was like uh, like under some medication, so she was sort of like unconscious, and he's he was beaten off, and he came in her face, and I'm just like, God damn, like these motherfuckers! Wow. <laughs> I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers is wild. I'm like, what what are you like? What are you trying to do? Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We gotta see why we do this shit, and it's not like we made up this story just to bring it on the show so we can make a point. Like, no, right. this shit is happening with or without the bad boy membership. Right? Like, if niggas was fucking with the bad boy membership, they wouldn't have to do this shit. Exactly. Exactly. They, they would just holler at bitches, and you know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Exactly. They could, they could, instead of squirting it on them on their back in the middle of a store, right? You could, you Right, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Cause see, the thing is, you want the the woman to want your semen. You don't want to have to, you know, force your semen on the chicks. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing out there, man? You guys are making it, you know, making it hard for yourself, man. Like, that's hey. crazy. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, yo, that's wild. Like, you running around with your semen, throwing it on chicks. I'm like, dude, like, that's not. That's not cool, man. That's 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 nasty. That shit is like retarded, yo. Like, come on, man. And I'm like, that's and that's crazy. Like the fucking story with the doctor actually doing it, because the the chick she said that she was going in and out of consciousness, and then she said she could hear him masturbating and shit. And I'm just like, and and yo, and this is what I want to point out though. It's interesting that you got a a a doctor doing this type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you would think that a doctor could have, you know, multiple women that want to get, you know, semen in the face. But this nigga got to do it at work with a, a chick who's unconscious. Like, that's crazy. 
I'm like, man, but I guess that's the, I guess that's the, 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 you know, the appeal of it for him. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like, okay, well, he know he, he shouldn't be doing this, but it's exciting because he's like, yeah, she's unconscious. I'm going to spray her with this jizz and it's going to be great. That's like his, his, uh, his thought process, I guess. I'm like, that shit's crazy. Nah, son, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta put the dick inside him, son. Exactly. And then, and then bust inside the condom. You know what I'm Shit, you gotta you gotta pull out with the condom on and then bust it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck out of here! I ain't playing no games. <laughs> like yo, I don't, I don't, I don't nut. I try not to nut until I'm like at least a foot away from the chick. Like I don't want the semen anywhere near her. I'll be like, man, like you know, it's funny. Like I'll be getting nervous. Like when if a chick is giving me head, and like like I try not to nut while I'm getting head because I'm like. The, the semen is is free. You feel what I'm saying? It's all over the place. I don't want I don't want it I don't want it anywhere near her. You feel what I'm saying? Like so I gotta, I gotta be like yo back up man. I'm I'm paranoid about that shit. I don't want I don't want no semen flying nowhere, f- crawling up no crevices and nothing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, oh you're right, dude. You, better say this. Sorry, man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause you don't want that eighteen year uh bid you gotta do if that uh if that kid come through you feel me so ah, it's crazy but anyway but, but look before we go on break we're going to we're going to take a, a a subscriber email real quick let me get a real Hi. quick short one so this one says um what's your take on the best outfits colognes etc um or how to dress to be a chick magnet okay so so first of all um if you go to badboymembership.com, I have a program called How to Improve Your Appearance, okay? So you got to you got to listen to that. You got to listen to that stuff. But don't we have a cologne on the Bad Boy store that they can get? The Bad Boy store, yes. The Bad Boy store. Go to the badboystore.com and order 1 million by Paco Rabanne. Mhm. Get That's that shit. The- Right, right, pretty much. So you guys, you guys should definitely check it out. Go to go to thebadboystore.com and get that cologne. Step it up, and 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 also just in general, you know, when it comes to uh, you know, dressing and you know your style and everything like that. Always say this: you have to is 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 sort of two things. You have to. Um, make sure that the clothes that you're wearing and the, you know, the, the way that you put yourself together, you have clothes that fit you and that right. complement your body. You understand what I'm saying? So right. a lot of times guys, they'll wear like, you know, like certain type of shirts that if they're, let's say they're, they're, you're a skinny dude, you're, you know, you're sort of slim and then you'll wear a shirt that is so baggy and it makes you look like, you know, you're like a 10 year old, you know what I'm saying? Wearing a, a, you wearing something, you know what I mean? Like you have to get the clothes that fit you so that it's, it, you know, it, it basically, um, you know, brings out your shape and how you look, you feel what I'm saying? And so, you know, with, with that type of stuff also, you know, make sure that you are, uh, you know, shaping your, your hair up, you know, get a haircut, shape up the beard, the mustache, like basically look neat is really, you know, like the yep. main thing you got to look neat. But also what you got to also do is you have to make sure that you're comfortable in what you're wearing. You feel what I'm saying? And I actually talk about this too in um my book, how to have sex with two women a day, which all of you guys should get, go to mrlocario.com and get that. So, you know, the thing is, if you're wearing something, you might be wearing something because you think like, oh, this is a cool shirt or this is, you know, uh, some cool pants or whatever. And it might look good, but if you're not comfortable in the clothes you're wearing, if you don't, you know, feel, uh, you know, good in it, you understand that's going to come across, uh, not well when you're dealing with women, you understand, because you're not comfortable in what you're wearing. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to make sure whatever it is you're comfortable in it. I, I was gonna say that. Um, I was gonna say that. I saw this quote the other day. I think it was on Facebook, and it said, "Fashion does not mean that you have to wear a three hundred dollars shirt." Right. It says fashion is wearing a thirty dollars shirt and making it look like a three hundred dollars shirt. Exactly. Exactly. So the best, the best fashion. See, the thing is, the thing you got to understand about fashion is, um, 
and clothes and all that shit is just like what you were saying. It's something that you got to feel comfortable in, mm -hmm. right? Because what really makes the fashion is you. Right, exactly. You know, when, you're wearing, when you're wearing something that makes you feel, like, comfortable about yourself, it comes out in your in your confidence, in the way you carry yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you want to look good to yourself in the mirror before you look good to anyone else. Exactly. You want to smell good to yourself. Mm -hmm. So think about what smells good on you to you. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then and then you'll you'll carry yourself in a certain way that'll make the girl be attracted to you because of your confidence, not because of necessarily anything you you have on. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. So go out. Go out and find the the, the things that that make you feel good. Pretty much, real talk, real fucking talk, man. The only other, the only other thing I would say is, like, you know, a couple of things, you know, that that help, you know, kind of like how looks help, but it's not the end all be all. Right. But a few things that help is to always make sure that your teeth and your mouth is clean. Mm hmm. Real because talk. Because you want to you kiss these broads, so always make sure you you know brush your teeth, you floss. You know, make sure you you know, like, you know how niggas, you, you'll talk for a while and then you'll have, like, spit collected at the corner of your mouth. Right. <laughs> like, always, always check yourself and, you know, make sure you wipe, wipe those places. You know, if you, if you just have the nigga that use chapstick because you got chapped lips, use your chapstick or whatever, you know, or, you know, lick your lips like uh, LL Cool J. Right. <laughs> your mouth, your mouth and your teeth got to be clean. Right. right. Next thing is, um, something on your wrist usually brings attention from a female, like some type of either a watch or some type of manly looking accessory on your wrist, mm -hmm. right? The next thing is, um, your shoes. Oh, the shoes got to be clean. Shoes <laughs> got to be clean. They got to be clean. Like it don't have to be expensive shoes, but they got to be clean. They got to, they got to look as if. That's why it's good to have a couple of pairs of shoes because you keep wearing the same pair of shoes every every day. Right, it's gonna wear the shit out. It's true. You go go wear your shit out, and it, the heel is gonna get rubbed out on one side, mm -hmm. and you're not look like you're standing straight up. It's a whole lot of shit. So make sure you have at least one pair of shoes that are clean that you can wear out when you go in the fuck with chicks. Right. You um, I mean, them shit could be from Payless, like right. whatever. It don't matter, but they just gotta look new and clean. Mm -hmm. You know, like fucking um, get yourself some shoe polish and shine and shit up if you have to. You right, know what I'm right. Um, let me see one an, another thing. Like just 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 keep everything neat and clean because remember, you want to be close to these females. You want to get close to them, mm -hmm. so you don't want them to have any reason to not want to be close to you back. Exactly, you know exactly. So that's why. That's why you. It doesn't have to be the most expensive shit, but just be clean and tidy. Right. Clean and neat and smell and also smell clean. Because right. sometimes you don't even need, you know, I'm going against, I'm going against my business practices because I want you to go to the bad boy store and buy the cologne. But sometimes you don't even need to put on cologne. Mm -hmm. if, if you shower, make sure you're clean. Sometimes you can get away with just having a female smell your own body odor right you know I mean? right like your clean body odor i mean not not you know not not no you after a long day of work <laughs> right or coming from the gym and you smell like that mad sweaty and shit right i'm talking about that smell that you give off right after you get out the shower if if you the type of nigga that that's how you roll and you don't necessarily need um um uh cologne then just you can roll like that give her that give Give them that um, just shower smell. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then the only thing other than that, especially for my for my black dudes out there, just make sure you know you don't got a lot of ash. Just mm -hmm. keep, it, keep it keep it moisturized. Like get you know get your lotion popping or your you know your your uh, baby oil or whatever it is. But you don't want anything to look dry and choppy because, like I said, you want to touch these girls. You want to touch these females. Right. And most of the time, females. They have soft skin, soft body, so you don't want anything that 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 you know that feels like rough or out of the way. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, still, you know, still be manly and tough, 
but you don't want it to be rough. So when you fucking, you know, touch her arm, you're fucking cutting this bitch with your with your with your ashiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just it's just it's little things like that you gotta think about. But as far as the clothes and the actual fashion and the, and all that stuff, like the, the bottom line is neat and clean. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Pretty much. So yeah, you guys gotta keep that keep that in mind, man. Keep that in mind when you're trying to make this shit happen. You feel me? So listen, we're gonna uh, take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna be talking about how to make sure you don't waste time with women. You guys are listening to the Bad Boy Show. Do you want to learn the easiest way to have more sex with more women? Then get the critically acclaimed book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. In this book, you'll learn everything you need to know about attracting and sleeping with beautiful women. That's How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Get your copy today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Are you an actor who needs headshots? Do you have an event or a wedding coming up and you need a photographer? If you do, make sure you go to PavionPhoto.com. Pavion is a professional photographer who will supply you with high quality video and photography services for any event. Contact him at PavionPhoto.com. That's P-A-V-I-O-N Photo.com. PavionPhoto.com. All right, people, we are back. We are back on the Bad Boy Show. And so we are talking about how to make sure you don't waste time with women. Because a lot of times, uh, you know, guys get involved with women and there's a lot of time wasting. There's a lot of uh, things that you're doing that's not beneficial for you. And your time is important. You understand? Time is important. Time is your most important commodity yes if you think about it all all of life all life really is is the time that you have on this earth right so basically if you're wasting your time you're wasting your life pretty much pretty much and so a lot of guys get involved in situations with women where they're wasting too much time with these chicks because you know you want to get sex you want to see them you want to make stuff happen but it's sort of like you have to understand when to sort of call it a day with a chick, you understand what I mean? And say, okay, well, this chick is a time waster, or I can see she's going to be a time waster. And let me not, you know, just even indulge into this nonsense. Let me just keep it moving on to someone, someone else, right? So I got a few things here that uh, we're going to talk about that, you know, talks about guys who waste their time in these situations and what you should be doing, you know, when this stuff happens. So, one of the, the things that dudes um, do when they waste time with women is dealing with flaky women or basically entertaining the flakiness, right? So if you are talking to a chick and you're trying to go on a date with her or whatever, and let's say you plan a date and then she flakes on that date, right? Now, if she if she actually, you know, um, gives a counter day and says, hey, I can't make it today. Can we do next week, Friday or something like that? Then, you know, yeah, that's cool. You could still, you know, fuck with her or mess with it, right? Now, if she hits you up and then let's say it's like, she's like, oh, it's, it's you know, this super crazy emergency, which most of them emergencies is bullshit. You understand? But if she's like, oh, it's a super crazy emergency, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then let's say, you know, she hits you up later in that next week, you could probably give her another chance and that's the only chance you're giving her. So if you're ever going to give a chick a chance for being flaky, it's only one time. You understand? Now, if a chick flakes out again, then it's done. It's over. You keep it moving. You understand? What a lot of guys will do is they'll deal with a chick who flakes multiple times and still tries to get with her. Like, I had this dude I was talking to the other day. He was talking about, oh, yeah, I've been trying to see this chick, but, you know, she flaked on me like three times. I'm like, what? I'm like, how are you still even thinking about this girl? You feel what I'm saying? Like, how are you even entertaining that? Like, what, what what's on your mind? Like, why are you dealing with this chick? You feel what I'm saying? And so you got to understand that like dealing with these chicks is going to be a waste of time for you. So when you see that she's on that super flaky shit, you just cut it off and keep it moving because by you engaging in that, what happens is, is that you're taking time away from you dealing with other women. You're taking time away from you dealing with other things in your life by you just, you know, hanging around this chick. You feel what I'm saying? So you guys have to uh, get off of that type of uh, situation when you're dealing with these girls. So cut that shit off and, and stop wasting time with these motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? 
But anyway, so the next thing uh, we got is uh, where, where you waste time with chicks is when you're having long phone conversations. All right. So the thing is, if you are having long ass phone conversations and you are, you know, um, just sitting there talking to her about a whole bunch of bullshit. You're not really saying anything. And, and, and actually I always say when you hit a chick up or you text her and, and the, the, the long conversations could also be text. It's not just like speaking on the phone. But the thing is, is that the only reason you should be even texting a chick or calling a chick is to set up a date and that's it. And you get off the phone. Right. And what happens is a lot of guys, they, you know, a chick will call them and they're so excited to talk to her or they want to talk to her so bad or they're thinking about her so, so much that they'll spend like an hour, hour and a half, almost two hours on the phone with a chick. I actually had a chick tell me that a dude called her and they were on the phone for like six hours. I'm like, what kind of shit is that? Like how, what's going on in your life where you're on the phone for six hours that's fucking crazy you understand what i'm saying and then the thing is you know sometimes you'll be on the phone with these chicks for so long and then you end up not seeing them they end up flaking on you shit doesn't go the way that it needs to go and you just wasted all that time talking to them on the phone you feel what i'm saying so save the phone conversations for uh just you know setting dates up if you want to talk to them talk to them when you see them in person don't waste time on the phone with these chicks you know just talking about nothing you should have better things to do than that you feel what i'm saying so you know make sure you don't make that shit happen all right now the next thing uh we got is talking too much to women on online dating sites okay so what happens is, is that you got a lot of guys out there who they will be on an online dating site and they're chatting too much and they're not closing the deal, right? So a lot of times you'll have women who they'll sit there and they'll talk to you or they'll go back and forth and, you know, and, and just say shit, but you're not really uh, closing the deal. You're just talking, you're talking, you're texting, you're talking, you're doing all this other stuff. You're not really planning the date. You're not making any of that stuff happen or you might get in a situation where you're dealing with a chick who she's um she's basically like you're, you're trying to make something happen and then she'll say something like hey can we talk on here more right or she'll be like hey can we uh have a phone conversation first before we meet up and all that other stuff right now the thing is if a chick is telling you hey can we talk on here more you just be like nah listen you know um here's my number if you want to what is that? You you in a, 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 a car accident, Miles? What's going on? <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I don't want to see you on the news and shit, but anyway, like, <laughs> no, so I was saying, like, you know, when a chick, when a chick is, um, when a chick is talking to you on an online dating site, sometimes they'll say, you know, hey, can we talk more on, on the site before we meet up? And so what you usually should do is you just say, listen, you know, I don't, I don't really like to talk too much on here. Cause you know, I'd rather, you know, see you in person, but here's, here's my number, text me and then we can talk. And then when she texts you, that's when you set up a date. You understand? Don't waste time, you know, doing that whole get to know you shit. And then sometimes you're going to even have chicks who say, Hey, can we, uh, you know, talk on the phone a little bit so I can hear your voice before we, you know, meet each other and yada, 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 you know? And, and the thing is, I, I fucking hate, uh, that type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like I like chicks where I just meet them online and then we say, we're going to meet up here and that's that. You feel what I'm saying? But right. if you feel so inclined to speak to her, speak to that chick for two to three minutes and call it a day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Oh, Hey, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. blah. Listen, I got to go. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on Friday. Peace the fuck out. I'm gone. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like, don't waste time on the phone talking and having these long ass conversations and you know, all that other bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be a waste of time. Cause again, some of these girls, you're not going to fucking see, you understand? They're going to flake. They're going to be on some bullshit. All right. So don't waste your time doing that. Another thing is going on more than three dates without hitting it. Okay. That's going to be a waste of time. <laughs> so if you're on, you should be hitting it on at least by the third date, the third date. If it, if you're going on the third date, that's supposed to be the sex date. Okay. So if you, you know what I mean? So, you were in a skirt with no drawers by the third date. Exactly. You feel me? So, if you are on the third date and you are you haven't hit it 
And then she talking about she want to see you again. Listen, you need to be trying to make that shit happen on the third date. And if it doesn't, then you're wasting your time. Because... You know, on the third date, you need to have a conversation with the bitch. Like, mm-hmm. you need to be like, yeah, so, you know, you like how this is going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like, yeah. And I think you're cool, too. So, the third date is coming up. You know what that means, right? Exactly. If you start acting stupid, then you'd be like, look. <laughs> exactly. Look, like, the third date is the third date. So, mm-hmm. you don't know what that means. That man, shit, tell her what it means. Be, be real. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real. Pretty and much. Like, like, the thing is, all right, for example, don't be afraid to ask a bitch, yo, what is your head game like? Right, right, exactly. <laughs> real talk. You know I'm because if, he, if, if he's cool with going, on, going out on the road to date with you, mm-hmm. then he needs to be cool with discussing sex and discussing things like that. Right. But at, at that point. So don't be afraid to ask her that shit. And if her, que- and if her answer to that question is anything other than, you know, my, my head game is fucking amazing, nigga, like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Like, right. Like you don't want to fuck with me. Like if she's not saying some shit like that, then I don't know. You might you might be wasting your time. Pretty you much, pretty much. Because you gotta understand, son. Chicks, chicks know. You understand? They know what the fuck is going on. They understand the deal. Meaning, when they get with a dude, they know that sex is gonna ha- have to happen. You understand what I'm saying? At some point, right. or or it's gonna be over sooner than later. So the thing is, a lot of times, chicks, you know. Either they 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 don't really like you that much, and they're just sort of using you for attention, and they can see in you that you're the type of dude who's gonna put up with the bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So they'll they'll sort of like play around or whatever. But a chick knows if she you know if she's with you and she knows that okay at this point I gotta we gotta have to have some sex if I want to keep this guy interested. You feel what I'm saying? They know what the deal is. You understand? They're not gonna be sitting there. Uh, you know they they try to play that game with you because. They, they see that you're naive enough to believe like, oh, yeah, I want to take it slow. I really like to take my time and get to know a guy for a couple months. No, like, get the fuck out of here. So you're, you're going to be wasting time with this shit because all, all you're doing is enter- entertaining her uh, while she's waiting for some other dude who she really wants to come around. And then she's going to stop seeing you. You feel what I'm saying? So don't don't uh, don't waste your time with that bullshit. But anyway, so another thing that's a waste of time is being a woman's friend, okay, so a lot of guys think that, okay, I'm gonna be her friend, and then maybe later I can, like, you know, get with her, and she's gonna see that I'm a nice guy, and a cool guy, and she's gonna wanna be with me, and, you know, I'm just gonna be her friend, and and, no, you're wasting your fucking time, being a woman's friend in any capacity, you know, uh, when it comes to, you know, you actually trying to, like, get with her is, is, is a bad move, like, if you're going to be a woman's friend, like, she has to actually be your friend. You feel what I mean? Like, it got to be a chick where maybe you already smashed it a couple times, so y'all just cool like that. It got to be right. a chick that you're not really that interested in, you understand? Like, you're not really attracted to it like that. Then, yeah, you could be her friend. Then it's not necessarily a waste of time because, you know, you could actually like her as a person and she could be cool and y'all, you know, y'all just cool with each other. You know, you understand? But right. if, if you're coming at it trying to be a woman's friend in the hopes that you're going to get some or in hopes that she's going to, you know, have sex with you at some point or and you, you try to think, oh, I'm going to be, an, I'll be in a friend zone now, but later now nah, you're wasting your time because this is the funny part about, uh, about certain women too, is that sometimes a, a, a chick, she could actually be attracted to you, but if you're in the friend zone with her and you're her friend and you've been being her friend for a while, sometimes the fact that you're her friend makes her um see you as like this brother type of guy and then it already and then that thing makes it almost impossible for you to fuck her you understand because now she she can't get aroused by you because in her mind you're like a brother to this chick you understand what i'm saying right right she has that she has that perception and it's hard to change that perception right you see what i'm saying so so, you know, you done fucked up already. So you just, you just wasted your time from the jump. You understand? Because if you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, I'm going to make this happen. Nah, you, you wasted mad time thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to just chill here and wait it out. And then you're going to be waiting it out till the end and nothing's going to happen with this shit. So, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't even do that. But anyway, 
So the next thing uh, that's a waste of time is asking a woman's advice on dating. Okay, that's a, a waste of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that's a waste of goddamn time man oh my god and i've talked about that before like there's only a few chicks like they're they're sprinkled around they're they're super rare that will will tell you the real deal you understand most chicks won't tell you the real deal because f- most chicks don't know the real deal like they actually don't understand what's going on and then some chicks who do understand they just won't tell you because they don't want to put it out there you understand but you know, most of the time when you ask a ch- uh, chick's advice on dating, like if you say to a girl, hey, what do what do I do to get girls? And, you know, what should I say to girls to this and this and that? They're not going to give you the right information because most of them don't know. And, you know, it's just you're just going to be running around in a circle getting bad advice from chicks who they don't they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of the stuff that chicks respond to is very subconscious. They don't even realize they're not they're not even conscious of why they're responding to it. So they can't even tell you what works because they don't even realize what's working on them. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's the funny part about the shit. You see what I mean? So it's like trying to, uh, you know, get a lot of these women's advice when it comes to, um, you know, getting dudes. I mean, I said getting dudes, getting chicks. Pause is like <laughs> it's like it's not going to work. You right. see what I'm saying? And, and there's there's a few like women coaches who, who are spread around who sort of know because I've, I've seen a couple around that I, I, I listen to them i'm like okay she she knows what she's talking about you know what i'm saying so they, they're able to put themselves outside the context of being a, a chick and getting into their feelings because a lot of times what chicks do is that they they tell you advice based off of their feelings so you'll be like Oh, you know, what should I do to get a girl? And she'll be like, oh, you know, you should like, you know, buy her a drink and then talk to her and make her feel special. Like, get the fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. So it's like, that's, that's going to be a waste of time even asking them what the deal is. All right. Now, another thing that's a waste of time is waiting for a woman to be ready to have sex with you. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo. It's crazy. Why haven't I said it again? I said, are you sure you're not giving them too much? <laughs> nah, this ain't, this ain't, this is just scratching the surface. This is like, you know, yeah. they, they got to go to the bad boy membership to get the, 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 the extra, extra shit. You feel what I'm saying? The, the, the how to's and the, you know, but nah, for it's, it, yo, I'm telling you, see, the thing is this guys, if you dealing with a chick and you trying to smash and she's like, oh, you know, I, I, you know, I really, I really don't want to do it now because I want to get to know you better and yada, yada, yada. You got to make that chick plan Z. You understand? I always say that you got to make them plan Z. Like you, you keep her so far on the left. You understand? And and you start dealing with other chicks, man. Don't, don't fall for that. Oh, I need, no, nah, listen, you holla at me. When you ready to make something happen. That's all you need to tell her. Be like, all right, well, cool. Listen, I'm, you know, um, hit me back when you're ready. You could be like, listen, I'm really, you know, attracted to you. I'm really sexy attracted to you. So I'm going to be honest and let you know, I need you to holler at me when you're ready. You understand? Right. And just leave it at that. Like, just don't leave it at that. Don't talk to her ever in, unless that's the conversation. Right. Ever. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because all that's going to do is you waiting around for uh you know her to be ready for this and for that and all that other stuff that's just giving her extra attention that's giving her room to play games with you you understand because you gotta understand something a chick women see this is this is this is the problem this is the fucking problem here a lot of women and 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 you know that do this usually have nothing to offer you but sex which is why they need to wait you understand what i'm saying because if they give you sex, then what else are you going to be with them for? You feel what I'm saying? Stop. Stop. Rewind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, like, I'm telling you, women who make you wait to fuck them usually have nothing to offer you but sex. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. And that's why they want you to wait. Because as soon as you get the sex, they're scared that you're going to go. You feel what I'm saying? Or what happens is a lot of times these chicks, they've been with a lot of dudes who fucked them and then just bounced. So now they're like, damn, 
You know, I can't, I got to make him wait so he'll stay around or I got to make him wait so that he'll get to know me and maybe he'll like me more. So after we have sex, he won't leave. That's their, their thought process. You feel what I'm saying? But see, that's not your problem. You understand? That's her problem. She got to, you know, deal with that shit on her own. She got to figure that shit out. So you don't need to be waiting around wasting your time with with her having to do that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? You just keep right. moving to other chicks and you tell her to holler at you when she's ready to make shit happen. You feel what I'm saying? And that's that's that, you know? And so the last thing I'm going to say on this, and this is very important, uh, it's when you're trying hard to get with one specific girl. That is a waste of fucking time, okay? Yep. Oh, yep. my God. That shit be killing me. You know, I be getting a lot of emails from dudes. They be like, yo, there's this girl. As soon as I, as soon as I hear a... <laughs> A email about there's this girl. I'm like, oh lord, here we go, here we fucking go. Okay, like it, it, it guys, you gotta understand something, man. Like, <laughs> there is no girl or no one girl that's important like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't no, care I... who the fuck she is, not one of them. Do you understand? Maybe your mom. <laughs> Maybe your mom. <laughs> But like, but like, yo, you, it's like these dudes be meeting these chicks and especially if it's a chick you just met, like I'd be always getting, I met this girl last week at a party and I got her number and I've been trying to call her 10 times. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Like, like, girl, like <laughs> niggas should be calling up saying, okay, so girl number one, blah, mm-hmm. blah, 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 girl Ex- number two, exactly. blah, 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 girl number three, blah, 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 and then four and five, I fucked last week. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause I'm like. You dudes are you wasting time on one chick. Like, it'll be a chick that you never really fucked with. You never kissed and nothing happened with you guys. You're still, you have this crush. You're trying to make something happen. You're trying to make it work. You're still thinking about talking to her. Like, this dude's, I remember this one dude that I knew in when I was in college. This motherfucker, it was this chicken out in our class, one of our classes, and he, he was feeling her. And the whole semester, this nigga was worrying about, oh, I want to holler at her, I want to talk to her. I was like, dude, did you go fucking talk to this chick? So at the end of the semester, he finally talks to the chick, and then he finds out she got a, a boyfriend. And I'm like, dude, you see all that fucking time you wasted? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. I'm like, you could have found that out before. Like, what's going on with you, man? Like, that shit is wild. But that's what that's what happens. You wasting all that time, wasting all that that energy, because all that or him waiting and thinking about her and checking her out and fantasizing. That's energy that you're you're putting out there. You feel what I'm saying? That's right. wasted fucking energy. You feel what I'm saying? And so you 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 know going crazy over this one chick and you missing out on all these other women that's around you that you can make something happen with because you 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 uh focusing on that chick. It's it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. You feel me? But yeah, man. So that that is it. That's pretty much it. Anything else you want to say, Miles, before we get out of here? I just want to say they need to Yeah, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, son, go to the Bad Boy store. Go to the badboymembership.com and let's make it happen, son. Exactly. Exactly. Make sure you guys check that out. Go to the badboystore.com, badboymembership.com. Also go to undeniablegame.com and make that shit happen. Okay. So we are out of here, guys. We are about to bounce. We will see you guys next week. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We gone. Later. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.